What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Accelerated Motion YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. That way you guys can stay up to date with all the projects that we have going on on the channel. Let's get started with today's video. If you guys are already subscribed, thank you for returning and checking out this new video here. As you guys probably already know, I've got a couple sponsors for the channel and one of them is actually Bob Sound. As you can see, I've got my F3335i right here behind me and today we're going to be installing some Bob Sound Ghost Underseat Subwoofers. If you guys are not familiar with Bob Sound, definitely go check them out at bobsound.com. They're one of the leaders in premium sound system enhancements for BMW and Mini. To date, I've done quite a few different install videos of Bob Sound products, not only in my M3, but also my friend Drew's E9335i. So definitely go check those out if you need products for those two cars. But today we are finally going to be installing some ghost underseat subwoofers here in my 335i. So these are eight inch ghost underseat subs. They go right underneath the driver and passenger seats and it's a plug and play solution. So let's get onto it. So one of the great things about Bob Sound is that it's 100% plug and play. So if you're no audiophile like I am, then this is the perfect solution to upgrade your sound system in your BMW. Another great thing about Bob Sound is that they have a 100 day in-car trial. If you are not happy with your products, you can go ahead and send it back for a free return. All right, so here's a look at what we will be installing in today's video. So these again are eight inch ghost under seat subwoofers. So they're OEM replacements for the ones that are currently underneath the driver and passenger seats plug and play solution. They look super, super nice. And once again, I've had all of these products on my M3. I've been super happy with them. And I know that my friend Drew, um, who also has some Bob Sound products in his E9335i, I know that he's extremely pleased with his setup now as well. And uh, I have no doubt in my mind that these are gonna be a lot nicer than the current system. So it's pretty hard to capture the differences between the stock system versus the new one, but uh, I figured I'd try to catch it on video anyway. So not the perfect representation, but, but from my experience with all my other Bob Sound products, the difference is pretty drastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some non-copyright music for you guys real quick. Uh, once again, this is a 2014 BMW 335i M Sport. It does have the Harman Kardon sound system. so. It does have two underseat subwoofers and then there's 14 speakers inside of here. So today we only are going to be replacing the underseat subs, but um, like I said, I think it's gonna make a difference regardless. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and play some non-copyright music for you right now. All right guys, so this is gonna be a very quick and simple install. I'm gonna start here on the driver's side first. There are four T50 bolts that we need to remove. We're not gonna pull the entire seat out because it is pretty heavy and I don't wanna to have to unplug wires and all that, but we are going to be removing all four of these. So there's one on each corner, one there, one there, one of the two in the back. Um, so we're gonna remove those and basically just tip the seat backwards into the back, the back seats and that should be enough access for us to actually get underneath here and uh, remove the stock sub. So once again, T50, get yourself a long extension, big ratchet. All right, so got the front two out, gonna move on here to the back, one there, one there. All right, so we've got all four bolts out. Just keep in mind that these T50 bolts do have some anti-seize or Loctite or whatever this is on here. So you don't wanna put these directly on your carpet because it might stain. Okay, so what we can do now is basically, go ahead and push the seat back, but all of the bolts are out. So I'm gonna basically just fold the seat all the way back into the back seat. And we're not gonna unplug anything here. So as you can see, it just kind of fell back on its own. So underneath here, you'll see this. We'll have to do some vacuuming while we have the seat off because clearly the previous owner did some eating back here. Uh, but you'll see there's a couple, couple looks like torque screws that we need to remove. So there's one here, one there, one there, and one there, and that removes this whole cover plate. So the next thing we're gonna do is remove these four screws. This is gonna be a T20. So 
I don't lose any of these. And you're going to probably run into some tighter spaces back here. Okay, so now that we've got that cover off, we can do one of two things here. This subwoofer is sitting inside of an enclosure, so we could technically pull up the carpet here and there's a couple bolts back here that we can unscrew and same with the other side and we can actually lift this entire thing with the enclosure um, out of the car. And the other option is to actually just remove the subwoofer itself here and leave the enclosure in the car. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, depending on what kind of model you might have, you might have to remove the entire thing. Uh, for example, with Drew's E90-335, he had a base system and the subwoofer was actually built into the enclosure. So it was one giant piece. There was no way to just remove the speaker itself. My M3 was a different story. I could just uns unscrew the speaker and move it out of the way and leave the enclosure in, in its place. So what I'm going to do is remove just the speaker itself. So there's one here, there's one back here, there's another screw, let's see. There's another screw on this side right there. And then on this side, there's another one back here somewhere. So there's four of them that we're going to take off. And those are also going to be T20s. So we'll remove all four of those. All right, so we've got all four of those screws out now. Um, you might just want to grab it right here and try to give it a tug up. It might be a little bit stuck feeling, but that's that's just because it's sucked into place, but I've already pulled mine up a little bit. But what we need to do is go ahead and unplug. So way, way back here, there's an actual plug. If you get yourself a small flathead screwdriver, you can actually use that instead of your fingers. Just to kind of put in and pull it out. I'll show you that here in a minute once I get this out of here. So, okay, so this is the actual plug itself. And all I did with the flathead was stick my flathead right here and kind of push this little trigger down and that will release the actual plug from the speaker. So now we can just go ahead and grab this and finagle it out of the carpet. And there you go. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the OEM Harman Kardon versus the new Bob Sound. So same size, plug and play. And Show the back side. So that's the back side of the OEM. Back side of the Bob Sound. And these are the 8 ohm V2 version. So now we can go ahead and reinstall in reverse order. Again, plug and play. So all of the mounting holes and everything should line right up. And then after we get it in here, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It's just a little bit tricky to navigate around the carpet, but there we go. Sits in there just like that. And then plug this right into place. It only goes in one direction. There we go. And then we can go ahead and reverse the install. So go ahead and put your four screws back in, put the cover back on, and we should be good to go. All right, don't get your screws mixed up. Go ahead and put your silver ones back in. And they don't need to be crazy tight because it is just going into plastic, so. Let's go ahead and tighten those down. I'm gonna do it by hand and then I'm gonna come back with the ratchet. I'm gonna do them all evenly. Okay, got that tightened down. We can go ahead and put our cover back on. Just tuck your carpet back into place. Go ahead and put your screws back in. Okie dokie, so everything's back into place here. It's all plugged in. We can go ahead and reinstall the seat. So I'm just gonna push this back down, line up our holes, and put our T50s back in. All right guys, so the driver's side, subwoofer is in place, the seat's back in, and everything's all tightened up and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side off camera, but the process will be the exact same. I'll come back to you guys at the very end. We can do a little sound comparison and uh, then we'll wrap it up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the passenger side is finally buttoned up. Everything seems to be working just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and play some music for you again and hopefully you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like. But again, on camera, it's kind of hard to document. So you might just have to take my word for it. But uh, so far I can already tell you that it kicks in the pants a lot more than the old ones did. 
and uh, it sounds really crisp and clear as usual just because we've got the uh, Harman Kardon sound system in here as well so uh, the bass is really nice feels really good and I guess we'll play some stuff for you All right, guys, that just about wraps it up for today's install on the Bob Sound Ghost Underseat Subwoofers. It does take about 12 hours of real world um, play time for it to kind of break in. And I did actually find that to be true with my M3. It only got better as time went on. So I'm excited to let these break in and uh, I think it's gonna be good. So if you guys have any comments, questions or concerns, please let me know. Definitely check out bobsound.com if you guys are interested in purchasing any products uh, sound related for your BMW. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you then.